Okay, so just to recap the editing of this elements sequences, we can come in here. Uh, we touch anywhere in the sequence column. We can click on a particular uh, activity and we can say any, and that will remove that one. So you can see what was number two has disappeared, what was number three came here. So down here you can see and number four is number three is pack and number four is update order sheet so if i come back up here if i wanted to remove the sequence for number two i can touch it here i can say na it's not applicable anymore and if i come down here now it's changed the pack to two and the pack to three so that's removing one sequence at a time and uh, the other thing you can do is just touch in here and then you can say clear them all and they will all disappear here uh, finally, the other option you have in this uh, sequencing area is to let it do auto, right? So we select the auto and then all we have to do then is we basically select the, touch the areas where we want to put it. There's a one going in there, a two going in there, a three going in there, and uh, go down to the pack, a four going in there and an update there, right? Now, you have to be careful where you put the uh, your f sequences. For instance, it makes no, uh, there's no point in putting a sequence next to conveyor because it's not the bottom level, right? In the last selection, conveyor underneath that there's choices of belt and shaft. You can only put sequences against the bottom level items. So, for instance, if I try to put a sequence against this here, it says sequence required six to conveyor. It is a subactivity. It's not going to let you do that. So we're controlling the input of the sequence numbers uh, when you're uh, actually loading them into the uh, uh, the elements themselves.